Well, did they say anything? No. Let me see them. Look at you. I can't even see your face anymore with all the cuts and the blood. I told you my guards wouldn't play nice. I'm surprised you haven't given up the location of the traitors yet. You're spirited, smuggler. I'll give you that. But it will not help you. Not here, at least. Not with me. Oh, you can swear and insult me. I don't care. I'm doing what I can to protect this empire from our enemies. If one person has to die for hundreds of others to live, so be it. And if you don't want to tell me where the hideout is, I will find it myself. It would be easier if you told me where it is, of course. We would gain precious time. You know, I don't want to hurt those people you hid. It has never been my intention. But they can't leave. What would make you trust me? What would make you understand that all I do, I do it for the good of the Empire? Nothing? Come on now, smuggler. There must be something that would help. My, my story? If I tell you my story, you'll reveal the location of the hideout. You will consider it. Well, good enough, I guess. I better warn you. You're making me recall difficult memories. Very well, then. I was merely a commoner when I was young. My father provided for the whole family, struggling to feed me and my siblings. Then the burnish arrived, and things got even worse. They killed my sisters right before they abducted me. They forced people to work for them, threatening their family if they didn't. They killed and raped and destroyed everything they touched. When my father died, I promised him I would try to protect our people. It wasn't my job, but I wanted to do it. I needed to do it. And when I escaped, I took back our kingdom from my captors fighting with a few persons, brave enough to follow me in this deadly quest. And we did it, killing the leaders of the Burnish one by one, by spying on them and disorganizing them. The few who escaped fled to the east of the continent, and they regrouped there. I have been Empress for ten years now. And war is upon us again. No, of course not. Do you think I like inflicting fear to my people? It was never my intention. But they don't understand the threats we are facing. They just don't understand. I know what you're thinking. You think that I'm paranoid. 
that I see evil everywhere. Maybe you're right. But you cannot disregard the war that is raging in the East. The Burnish people are getting closer to us every day. Soon, they will win the war against our neighbors. And then, they will push at our borders. But if our people leave, who will protect our country? I cannot let that happen. We are stronger together. The people who are leaving are dangerous. And I know some of them give information to our neighbors. What do you think will happen once those people cross the border? They will either join the forces of the enemy or be captured by them. In each case, the empire will be weakened. Now you see why I'm looking for them, smuggler. Will you trust me? No? How did that not convince you? I thought you'd understand. You seem like an intelligent person. Ugh, you only deserve to rot here. What do you mean? I am not mad. They might fear me. They might fear my guards. But if they have to go through this in order to stay alive, don't you think it's worth it? Do you know, smuggler, what the burnish men would do to them if they get through the borders? So the answer is yes. This is necessary. That's enough! You don't deserve my clemency. I will personally make sure you never see the outside of this prison again. Oh, does that hurt? Maybe I lied after all. Maybe I like seeing you suffer. Because you are a great threat to me, to the Empire, to the people. And I cannot condemn such behavior.